everyone. Welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics. Today we'll discuss parity operator. The parity operator, when operating on a wave function, say in one D, it introduces like it inverse. You can you have to replace x by minus x. So there is a space inversion. Okay. Now. This I'll state without proof that the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues of parity operator are plus one and minus one. Now another thing is that if you operate parity operator twice that is if you write like this then this part becomes psi of minus x and again p operating we again invert the put a negative sign in the space part space variable so we get psi of x that means that p square is equal to an identity operator that this p square le leaves the wave function unchanged now one can also see that parity operator ex is an unitary operator so we know that unity operator is defined by unity operator has this property that u dagger u the dagger is the conjugate transpose is equal to identity or u dagger is equal to u inverse so if we take this condition also we should know that p parity operator is a hermitian operator one can prove it using the condition of the hermitian operator which was this psi star p operating on phi dx minus infinity plus infinity is equal to p psi star phi dx. So you can use this Hermitian operator condition to prove it. Now from in this case what we have is we can multiply it by p inverse so what we get we get p uh, equal to p inverse now since p is a Hermitian operator we can write p dagger is equal to p inverse so this is the same property as the entry operator property so a parity operator is a Hermitian operator and Hermitian and as well as unitary operator If parity operator operating on psi x gives you lambda psi x where lambda is equal to plus 1 or minus 1, then we say that psi has 
डेफिनेट पैरिटी नाउ इफ लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन वी से दैट साई इज दैट साई इज इवन अंडर पैरिटी और has even parity so this is the terms we used it may be used in the exam now next one is if lambda is equal to minus 1 it is said that psi is odd under parity or has or has odd parity now during exam one should note that you will not be given lambda equal to 1 or lambda equal to minus 1 you should be able to figure out by the language written in the question it will only mention even under parity or has odd parity or it will mention odd if under parity or has odd parity so please take care of this we'll take a simple example to understand how this parity operator work uh, works uh, say we have a function which is a sin kx where a and k are constants so when we apply parity operator on psi1 it should Change. We should replace x by minus x. So when we place minus x here, what we get is sine of minus x is minus sine x. So this is the final form of the parity operation. Now this one can be represented as psi one x. so the eigen value here is minus 1 that means we'll say that psi 1 is odd under parity or has odd parity taking another example Psi two, a cos k x. P operating on psi two, the parity operator operating on psi two should give us psi two of minus x. Now we are replacing all the x, so this is only one x. So we'll replace it by minus x, and this gives you now cos of minus x is cos x. So this will give you cos k x. now this is equal to the original function given that means that the lambda here the eigen value here is plus 1 so we say that psi2 which is a cos kx is even under parity or has even parity thank you for watching have a great day you if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends